What's up everybody? Uh, today's video is going to cover two separate things. The first thing we're going to cover is your draw link, setting up the proper draw link. I'm going to show you how we set it up. I'm not going to show you all the incorrect draw links we see. I'm going to show you how we set it up in our shop. Um, it's something that we're known to be very particular about as every good bow shop is. Like We want you to have the right draw link so there's consistency that leads into accuracy. Okay. So we're going to start off with the Matthews Verdicts. This particular Vertex is at 70 pounds and a 29 and a half inch draw length. Super pumped about this bow and who it's going to, so we'll get into that in just a little bit. First thing I'm going to start with, draw length. Where should that string be on your face? Where should your hand be? Where should your front arm be? So we're going to start with our back hand first, our release hand. So many of you shoot a trigger release. So like this spot hog or some of our Scots or something like that, you shoot a release like that. Many of us shoot back tension or thumb releases, okay? I'm going to give you your anchor point for both. Where I prefer to see hands in our shop. Everybody's different, but it's what we prefer. I'm going to start with the back tension or the thumb release solely because I'm going to move, for showing you the correct front arm, I'm going to use the trigger release just to prevent uh, me shooting the safe or the wall while we're in here. Knock our arrow, um, these are the gold tip airstrikes, they are amazing, it's one of our favorite arrows, they just got released and we, I think we sold out in less than 24 hours. Um, so I'm going to load our thumb release, I'm going to show you where we want our hand. I take my first knuckle and put it on my jaw, right in the same point every single time. That puts that string coming right, the arrow's going straight down the angle, we're straight down the bow and down our front hand. Also, we're going to connect our front hand to our back elbow. So right now, I don't care what you look like, I just, I just care where that anchor point is. So that's our first anchor point. Remember, we're going to four, that's our first. So the thumb release, I remember not to shoot because I'm so used to shooting. we we'll anchor right here, okay? That's where I want you. Knuckle, knuckle on the jawline. So with the trigger release, I want to show you something just a little bit different that I have found that helps many of our customers um, to shoot better. Let me strap down this wise guy real quick. The next thing that we're going to do as we cover this is I want you to take your thumb and I want you to find your jawline. And I want you to stick your thumb under your jawline so you know where it's at. And then you take your hand, see how mine was this way? I want you to turn it and push it into the curve. You've got a curve on the thumb to index finger. I want that curve matched to your jawline curve. On our bigger guys, you've got to push through on that skin right there and get up against it. My hand sits right here, right there on that curve. So when I draw back, I sit right there on that curve. Okay? I'm going to show you what I don't want now. I don't want, if your arm is extended in the front and your bow's back here, your, your hand's back behind your neck or your thumb's right here, you're getting a lot of face contact. And to me, it's like, oh crap, like what's going on there? In reality, we just need to adjust you a little bit. Take that front arm and push forward. Get into that jawline, get a little bit of kisser and nose, okay? Kisser nose, now we're on to our third. I'm lying to you, now we're on to our second. Once we get right here, we get our jawline, we're going to our second, and that's going to be the string barely coming across our lip, which is our second. Our third is the nose on the string. Guys with glasses, it's very difficult for you to do this. Guys shooting shorter axle-to-axle -axle bows, your head's not going to be as straight up on a longer axle-to-axle -axle bow like a uh, traverse. I want you to actually, I want it to just come right in there uh, without you having to move your head down. On this vertex, I'll have to duck my head just to touch the string. Um, but it gives you those three anchor points, which is consistency. When that elk's bugling in and screaming, and you're like, oh, crud, here he comes, and I'm shaking, I can still get back to my point where we drop our heart rate back down, we set our three anchor points, and now we get ready for our fourth anchor point. In your bow, you're going to have a peep stop. And when it, your draw, full draw, it turns straight and aligns with your sight. 
That means you have, I tell everybody, you have two circles. You've got your peep circle, and you've got your sight circle. You want them to match up with the top curves. I don't try to line up the entire circle. I try to only line up the top curve to top curve. So if you'll go back through this process with me now, say it, we've got one anchor point, We've got the string, which is two anchor points. We've got the nose, which is three, so we've got to kiss our nose. And then we've got our peep to sight. That's four anchor points. I don't care how stressed you are or what's going on, you can turn this into sort of an addiction or a feel where you know you've got those four anchor points and you're consistent. Um, that still leads into us not dropping our front arm to aim, but this will give you the right anchor point. If your hand's behind your head, you're going to move, you're going to move up and down a little bit. When you stick that thumb line, into the jaw curve, consistent, dang consistent, and then you move kisser, nose, peep, to sight. Now I'm going to show you some things we see with the front hand. Um, we're not going to go into hand grip or hand placement, but I am going to show you how we like to set up our front arm. If your front arm is bent, you may move. So I was in a shoot the other weekend where I showed up to a shoot with just a bow, threw it together, didn't have the right draw length. And I was having to shoot it to get my anchors correct short. Well, I decided to extend. It changed my impact point by like 13 and a half inches. I like to push through that front, through my thumb, and have just slight bend. Some guys are here. I like to have just that much. If you're bent like this, you're never going to be consistent. Push through. And if you're bringing in the right angle into your bow, it's not going to get hit by the string. So Corbin's tip of the day is to get the right daggum draw length so you're going to be accurate. Four anchor points, jawline. I gotta make sure I don't go to the middle one first, right? You're gonna go to your jawline. You're gonna go to your corner of your lip. You're gonna kiss her nose, at least nose on the string. Peep to sight. And then you think about your front arm. We want just a little bit of extension. We don't wanna be all crowded. Make sure your bow fits you. And that's my last tip of the day.